Hi, welcome to my channel. I am the Romeos, and in this video, I want to go over more of Mixamo um, about uploading characters. Uh, someone said to me about uh, Mixamo is more like cartoony characters, but you can also upload your own characters through Mixamo and use the animations that they have. So that's what I'm going to go and do right now. So let's get into it. So as you can see right here, I have. I have my guy. Oh, I don't have my guy. <laughs> I have my setup right now. Um, this is just a mask and a gun. So I'm going to attach these onto the bones later. So let, right now, let's go ahead and import our main character. So this is just a uh, person I made in Character Creator um, real quick. So I can demonstrate it straight that you can use any creator. I mean, any character, even if it's rigged. So I'll show you a technique how. So I have this uh, through my character creator. This guy's name is Mike. That's my character. So let me go ahead and import him real quick. I might have to adjust the uh, the gun and the helmet into position, but I'm not worried about that right now. So here we go. We got him out of the T pose. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of his hair. So let's go up to the amateur, and I'm gonna rename this Mike. And then there's our amateur. So we want the hair. I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of the hair. All right, and there was another thing wrong with this pant length, but we could take care of that later. Actually, let me go down there, make sure. Yep, there it is, it's his shoes actually. So real quick, I wanna add on to the shoes, just a quick modifier. It's uh, if you know about Blender, that's a modifier. Um, it's a solidify modifier, basically. It just adds, it's scaling up. Kind of, it's a little bit more complex than that, but it basically just increases the thickness. So instead of a negative one, I'm gonna go to uh, point, to a 0.4 with it. There we go. And as you can see right here at the pant mesh, I'm gonna zoom in there. It's a little bulgy, so I'm gonna select the pant mesh. I'm gonna go into editing um, with face selected. Oh, you know what? Um, hold on. Let me, uh, let me back out into. I want to select something real quick. There it is. Let me, uh, give you a little more color there. Put you over there. There we go. All right. So you can see what I'm doing. All right. So I'm going to select. Let me go ahead and put this on lasso. And I'm just going to select this area right here. And I think I'll just go ahead and pull it up a little bit. Should be fine. No, I'm still not. So let's deselect. Let's just select this area here and pull it over. I'm still not wanting to cooperate. What's going on here? And we'll do the same thing over here. Get rid of that. Being a little pain there. Okay, so we'll get rid of the little bulging of the boot. Boot and look around. Looks pretty good. Okay, so now to get this character inside Nixon, that's what we came for. So let's go ahead and make sure. Everything is selected. So I start with the pants, I hold in the shift button, and then go all the way to the amateur that we call Mike. So with everything selected, now I want to hit control and I want to click on to Mike again. And it's not working. So, okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to start all over. We're going to select Mike and then we're going to hit the shift button and go all the way down the pants here. It's done. Okay, let's do it backwards. Okay, the object is I'm supposed to have the amateur highlighted. Right, let's just do it out here. Oh, I'm, we're still, we're in the wrong mode. There you go, let's get out of this mode. That's the problem. There we go. So what I want to do is I want to right click and I want to go to 
parenting here. But I don't want to clear parenting. Let me show you what happens when we clear parenting. Ba boom it blows up. <laughs> so let's not do that. What we want to do is we want to go to parenting and we want to clear parenting and keep transformation. So when we do that, everything doesn't blow up on us. So now Mikey's here alone. So what we can do is we can just get him out of the picture by doing that. So he's no longer there. So now it's just the mess, but pants. Okay. Everything's fine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select all this mesh here and I wanna parent it together under the base, body base. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to parent just the object. So it's not a mess, we can see it. It's all there, it's all selected. Make sure you have them all selected and then go under your file and then export FBX. And as you can see, I already have a mic here. So that's good, we're not gonna, but I would just make sure that you have selected objects clicked in where it says limit to selected objects. So we only got that object instead of the whole thing. And you wanna go under path mode and hit copy. And you click this little button here. Um, and let me make sure you wanna take off, click off bake animation and under amateur unclick all of these if it's add leaf bone unclick it only deform bones unclick it yeah and that should be it you should be ready to go so you want to export that i already have it exported so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and get rid of this thing because i already got mine and we're gonna okay so this is clear we're going to go into the mixamo and you're like, oh, you got rid of them. No. So we're going to upload a character. And... Okay. okay, now that that's done. Okay, we're going to hit next. And we're going to add his bones. So you start with his chin. As you can see... If you look to the upper right hand corner over here, it shows his the X and it zooms in onto the area where you're at. So you make sure you get into the dead center of his chin. There's an X there. Just follow that. And his knees. Now you just want to make sure you find out. We're just going to go ahead and guess for the demo, but just make sure you know precisely where his knees are to like right where the bulges right and you want to get into the center of the kneecap okay and then you just do the groin area make sure you get up in the center and then elbows and you kind of can see where the bends are and his wrist all right and as you can see there's uh, 65 skeleton you can choose different ones if you want but i'm just going to go with the regular standard skeleton and we hit next uh, okay now that you see we are totally rigged and ready to go as far as the mix them up and if you're wondering what's the great thing about this well the good thing is you save some time in rigging um your animations are already here you got i mean countless you don't have to sit there and it takes a little time to animate if so if you need something you might want to make a like a, a block system or if you're trying to just say you're on unreal and you just need to make a an idle jump and walk you can get it real quick you just take your character just like i showed you and you can also get your own control rig and do your own animations with the uh, so that's what we're going to get up to so you just going to hit next here um, your character's been uploaded. Great, wonderful. So here's our character. I, I'm just gonna go and keep him like he is for now. 
and as you can see, as you look a little closer, there's little imperfections in the mesh and stuff, but that can be taken care of just like we did at the, by the boot area. Also, I want to change the color of the boot. All that can be done. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So we're just going to go ahead and hit download. We got the T-Pose, FBX. We hit our download. Okay, when you get the download lead, you just save it to your file that you want it saved to. And then you go into Mike, and we're going to put Mike in there. I'm going to save Mike. Great, okay. So now we go back into our file, we go import FBX. We go back into the Mixamo folder. There's my Mixamo folder. And we find our Mike folder, and there's our Mike. All right, there's this helmet. Okay, so I'm gonna take our new character with our animation, and we're gonna go into the mix of L. Now I'm gonna hit the skeleton source, just like from the last video. So with the amateur selected, I didn't realize that, I, I didn't realize that amateur selected, I thought you just put it in the floor skeleton. But with the amateur selected, you go ahead and use our eyedropper to make sure you target it, and then you just hit the create control rig, make sure you have everything checked or unchecked, whatever your preference is, you can change it later. Okay, so there we go. There's our control rig. We have a control rig for our character that we, you know, imported to uh, Mixamo. So a unique character. And we can also add in, now we can go back into our Mixamo and just add in any of those animations. That is the good part about it. So let's add in a walk animation. So this was as long as you do not hit another character, as long as your profile, it, you log into your profile this guy will be saved he'll be there so let's go into the walk okay so then we go ahead and let's say the walking here we go this is a good walking one so let's go ahead and download this we'll go ahead and put it without skin so let's download it so let's create a new folder and call these animations. Let's go into the folder and just say this is walking. All right. Okay. File, import, FVX, animations, walking. Okay. So when you hit play, you see the animation walking. But Mike stays still. So as before, actually, let me move this animation over a little bit there. Okay. So I want to hit the control. Make sure I have the control rig selected. Hit my control rig. So you're walking, and then I just apply the animation to the control rig. And just wait for this to take play, and there you go. And you hit play, and you also have character walking. Now you see the helmet and the uh, gun stayed in play. There's a reason for that because they're not attached to the area. Why? Okay, let me hit con go back to Control Z here. So I had his helmet there. It is okay. So with that helmet being in the same place, what I want to do as being an object mode, I want to select this helmet and hit shift and control rig at the same time. So the helmet selected and the control rig selected, I'm going to go into my pose mode. So while I'm in pose mode, I'm, also, I'm going to hit the little ring, head ring up here. And okay, this can show you the target. That's the neck, and as you can see right here, control head. So with that being in there, I'm going to hit control P, and I'm going to go to bone. 
Now I'm, uh, I'm gonna go back up to object mode. I'm gonna hit the, the rifle here. I'm not gonna put it too much in the, I'm just gonna keep it relative in that area, but I'm not gonna mess with it too much for this demo. So what I wanna do, again, I'm gonna select the mesh and I'm gonna select the control rig at the same time with shift, there we go. I'm gonna hit the edit mode, I'm gonna pose mode, makers move into pose. Again, I'm gonna click onto the control, um, the hand for the right. And I'm gonna go ahead and add that by hitting control P to bone. So now if we go back out to object and let's square it away. Oh, I gotta go ahead and attach the, uh, the walking. Let me call this walking. Okay. Now you wanna hit apply animation to control rig. Now everything should stay in play. As you can see, the gun is attached and the, the helmet is attached. And as we hit the walking, it's not all in position. You can still move it into position, but you can see that it walks with the control rig, which is really good. I'm glad it does. <laughs> I hope we have problems. So I'm going to end that at, I'm going to say end at 35. Well, we'd still have to open up his hand with, so we would have to make, we would have to delete, go into the animations and delete the animations as far as his hand and add in a new animation, just relatively harder than said, but that's, we'll leave that for another video. But for now, we just hit the play button and he has, you can see his gun in his hand and then his mask stays with him. And you do this all with Mixamo, and you can still add in more animations. You can add them to the timeline where it is right now, because you got we got them animating. You got your control rig. We got just just a regular mesh. I just import into Mixamo. I use the control rig, and I can just add the animations. It's really convenient. I like using it. So that's it for the video. Again, um, join us next time. And until next time, keep creating.